Welcome back to Talk To Me with the coach, Michael E. Maiden, as we're down on the field at Wrigley Field visiting with Daryl Ward, first base slash outfielder for the Chicago Cubs. How we doing today? I'm doing good. How are you doing? Just fine. That's good. You know, you, you've been defined the role as a uh, pinch hit specialist for the Cubs. Uh, what, what, what does that entail? Uh, well, I'm actually like one of the good hitters on the team and uh, just there's not a spot on the field for me. So um, they, they use you to pinch hit for the pitcher late in the games, you know, when they need a, a good stick up in the lineup, which, you know, I mean, it's not a bad gig, but, uh, you know, as a player, you always want more. But, you know, I'm, I'm here with the Cubs and uh, we got a good team and, and I feel pretty good about it. So does that mean you're going to advocate for the DH in the National League? <laughs> You know what, if I could do that, I would. That would be nice. And you've been with a number of major league teams that road to the big leagues. How tough is it? It's, uh, it's very demanding mentally. You know, just uh, you got to get used to the travel and uh, playing in, in towns you never even heard of. Mm -hmm. and, and, and it's like 5,000 people in the stands at the most, you know. And, and even some towns you go to, it don't be nobody in the stands. And, you just got to be like self, really self-motivated because it's, it's easy to play in front of 50,000 people as far as, uh, you know, them being on top of you to where you play your best, you know. But in the minor leagues, you don't have that kind of audience watching. And, and sometimes it gets tough to keep yourself motivated. But uh, the guys that do, they end up playing here in the big leagues. And I know playing for the Cubs has to be a little demanding because really the Cubs is America's team. <laughs> yeah, I guess you can say that. Is that's the reason why we have more fans on the road than the average team. Um, but yeah, it's you know everyone's watching you. They got their eye on you. Um, you're on TV all the time during the day while people are at work. You know, back at home in California. And, uh, so I, I enjoy it though. It's it's a lot of fun because uh, I get a lot of reports from my family about how I'm doing and how I look on TV and all that. <laughs> And as I say, I still reach a, a young audience and, you know, I, I used to coach college ball and I've, I've scouted for five major league teams. How much pressure is it to really please the fans? You know, you get a, you leave the ballpark, a ton of fans waiting for your autograph. If you don't sign one, you lost a fan. How, how tough is that? It, it's hard because a lot of times, uh, you know, if you have a bad game or something like that, you know, they don't understand that you had a bad game. You might be a little frustrated and uh, really don't want to sign autographs when you're on your way home. And um, you, you, it's just part of it. You know, you just try to sign when you can, when you feel good and uh, nice and friendly and smile on your face. You know, you go out there and you sign for the people and, and they love it, you know, and they don't forget the times that you do sign. So it's, it's not that much pressure, you know, to please the fan. It's more pressure to please them when you're out on the field playing. Well, I know you got to get back to pregame, so we're not going to hold you up, but we thank you for your time. Okay. Thanks, Your Ward with the coach.